So here I'm going to show you how to read a file into MeshMixer uh, 3D Scan uh, and kind of adjust the um, uh, inflation or deflate different areas of your scan. So let me uh, just read in the scan that we have for skipped shoulder. And I'll imagine this is what you want to actually change. Uh, a couple things that I find you have to do with MeshMixer um, with 3D scans from the occipital structure sensor at least you want to close your cracks, make sure there's no cracks, and then you can do an analysis with the inspector. The inspector will find little flaws, uh, and, and you can fix those flaws automatically. Uh, this scan actually looks pretty good. The only other thing that you need to change, typically, I find a mesh mixer is the units. Uh, it typically doesn't realize that uh, if your measurements are in millimeters, uh, so it adjusts things. So I highly doubt that a shoulder is 0.328 millimeters. Uh, it's just off by a factor of a thousand. So just get rid of those decimals. Uh, and you'll be all set with the proper size scan. Uh, now to actually edit different pieces of this, different portions. So if I want to maybe inflate this a little bit or deflate a little bit, I can go to Sculpt, if I go to Brushes, and I go to Inflate. This brush will let me change uh, geometries. I can decrease the size and then I can get very small changes, or I can increase the size and get very large changes. I could also fiddle with the so you need to play around to find um, what you actually want to do, uh, a brush size that works. So we, we'll go with this just for uh, demonstration purposes so you can see what it actually does. And if I click on this, I'll see it start to inflate. And if I keep inflating, it gets a little more bulbous. Um, so I can inflate different areas that I want. So that's kind of a big inflation. So inflation is for big changes. If I hold down on my Mac, at least, the Command key, and I click on it, then uh, that inflate key command becomes a deflate command. So I can deflate my models this way too. So those are big changes if I want to make big changes. I can also make smaller changes with Robust Smooth. So Robust Smooth kind of smooths things out. Uh, it will give you small little uh, adjustments until you get around edges where you can see you get really pretty big uh, changes. Of course, you can decrease the size of those changes if you decrease the strength or you decrease the size of the brush that you're working with. So that's how you can kind of mold a little bit, um, kind of very aesthetically based, not very uh, numerically based. So I'm going to take this model, we're going to export it, and we'll come back uh, and do another, another video of how to measure circumference in Fusion.